I think a lot of people think that the safest place to store seeds for the future is to freeze them in a gene bank. But as soon as you freeze them, they stop evolving. They stop adapting. The safest place to store our genetic heritage, our, our crop inheritance from our ancestors, is in farmers' fields. So that they can continue to adapt and evolve. We have to try to get that diversity out of gene banks and into the hands of the farmers who can control the future of those seeds. It's our inheritance after all. So we need to move as quickly as we can away from what I think is an outdated model of agriculture and certainly of plant breeding, of growing these modern dwarf hybrid, very uniform crops that can't deal with climate change or any problem. And we need to transition towards an agricultural system where we embrace diversity like never before, where our crops are genetically diverse, where we have 500 different types of wheat in one field and in every crop. And I think we can do that. I've been doing this for 20 years. It's working for me. I think it can work for other farmers. I know it's working for other farmers. And I think that's the future. The future is one where we embrace diversity that we still have if we work together. And I think we can do it, but we've got to move quickly. These old varieties are incredibly resilient. They can withstand any difficult weather. The problem we have with modern varieties is because the weather is so extreme and unpredictable, those crops fail. I have grown my crop next to a field of modern wheat, and we've had several droughts the last few years. My crop was six foot tall, still producing good quality grain, and the crop next to it was withered. So to me, we don't have any choice. And that's what I'm trying to do in my small way is to create these mixed populations that I know work.